Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a quick look at some of the changes in the Office app integration in Teams. We'll have a look at the differences between leaving a comment and the conversation thread and see the differences in notification settings between those two. I'm Gavin Jones. In my day job, I work for a Fortune 500 company as a transformation manager. All the tips we've got on YouTube are things that have come out of real life examples from implementing Teams across the business. Remember to click subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already to get notified about all of our new videos. We've got a new video coming out about Teams every Tuesday. And if you're interested in rolling Teams out across your organization, or if you just want to know some more tips and see them all in one place in a concise format, click the link below to get our free download of a PowerPoint deck that outlines not only the context about why your company might want to move to Teams, but also all of the training material that we used to train over 200 people so far in our organization. Click the link below and get the free download. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Office integration into Teams. Okay, so quick video this week, but I thought it was useful because there's been some changes in the way Office apps show up in Teams when you click the files icon. It's the same in PowerPoint or Word, but we're gonna use Excel as an example. So let's dive straight into it. If we come into a channel and go onto a files tab, you may have noticed already, if you've been using Teams, when you now click a file, the way that Office Online is integrated to Teams is a lot better. So they've um, by default got rid of your uh, message view whilst you're looking at a file. Um, when we had some Excel files before, it used to open and it was too zoomed in, you couldn't really see anything. Um, and it was in a smaller part of the window. Now there's a lot bigger real estate. It looks a lot more like Excel. Um, it goes into edit mode straight away. Um, so bear that in mind if you um, want people to view things without changing them, that um, as soon as they change something, it's going to save it because um, it's using Excel online. And it's just a lot quicker to load and use. It's a lot more useful. We found people just automatically wanting to open the desktop version of Excel um, or Word or PowerPoint whenever we shared a file. Now it's a lot cleaner and looks a lot more like the Office app. It seems like you can do a lot more uh, in there without opening the full version of Excel. So what I wanted to cover today was as part of this bigger real estate, they've shrunk some of the menus and also some of the buttons now at the top have changed. So before I think we had chat, that might have been called conversation, or it might have just been an icon and there wasn't any comments, I don't think. If you want to open it in Excel, that's uh, now slightly changed. So it's the three dots and open in Excel. Um, or open in browser. Just remind if you, either of those you do, it's gonna link back to the original file any changes. If you just wanna download and make a copy, um, that's download, that then obviously just downloads it to your downloads folder. Um, and that's then a separate, complete separate file from the one that's online in Teams. Open Excel or open in browser or, or are both gonna automatically save back into the same location you opened it from. So if we hit the conversation button, that's gonna pop open the sidebar with the threaded chat that we've got alongside that file. So this is something we've looked at um, before. We can put a comment in about that file. Comment should <laughs> not use that terminology. We could put a, a conversation about that file in this window, and that's gonna post into Teams alongside the thread about that file. So that's the sort of the best place to have collaboration uh, around that file. So if I just close that and close the Excel button down, just a reminder that posts back into the, the posts uh, section, which used to be called conversations, now called posts, and is a threaded chat around that file. If we jump back into the file, the comments section is then relatively revamped thing, which I think is potentially borrowed from Google Docs or some something similar where you can then collaborate whilst you're in the file together. So I put a, a comment in A1 uh, to do a little test before this and at mentioned myself and if I wanted to anyone can then click on comments and go and reply to that comment. If I want to put a comment in B3 
three with something you know something in this excel document rather than being blank and we want to comment about that specific cell you can then do a new comment here and put something directly into um, the cells there and then you can see all of the comments alongside which i don't think you can do in excel before and um, just while remember if your organization is on i'd say the normal uh, upgrade path of the desktop apps some of the functionality i'm going to go through is only available in the online version which is the version that teams opens by default of excel word powerpoint so just bear that in mind some of the comments i think the comments button is there on the normal upgrade path of uh, of excel desktop now but the app mentioning which i'm about to show you isn't uh, in our tenant at least anyway so some of the things you can only do on excel online not excel desktop so you can put a comment in any cell and you can see all those there but the new thing that i wanted to show you that gets slightly confusing is now you can app mention people uh, in the comment okay so that's interesting so just noticed in my previous file which i'd opened in excel um, desktop when i went to a comment it just said enter a comment and I've just jumped into another file that now says at mention or comment, which is what it was showing before I started recording. So I'm not sure if opening it into an old version of Excel or a version of Excel that doesn't support um, at mentioning then makes the file not able to at mention. I'm not sure if you know, let us know in the comments below. Um, but now I've jumped into a file to show you what I actually wanted to say was that you can um, now at mention similar to Teams. And I'm just going to pick myself um just to show you and hit send now if you this is the way i want to go through it because it, it does get quite confusing so if you're editing the file in teams and you're already using teams the fact that you can then do a comment which directs you to exactly the right place in the file is very beneficial but you might then be forgiven for thinking that that's going to pop up in teams because you're using teams you're collaborating on the file in teams it only appears as a comment and then when you at mention someone the way they get notified is via email which i guess makes sense because microsoft are trying to get out mentioning everywhere um, and if you had just a sharepoint document then if you at mentioned it it wouldn't be able to get into teams because you're not in a team it would have to email you because i guess that's the way that you definitely know everyone is there so if i just jump into my email then you can see that i've got an email about that someone's mentioned me it tells me um that well the file that i've been mentioned in and you can then open the file um, directly from the email so it's jumping you in to the right place um, it's going to open it in excel online so it goes to your browser and it pops open the comment and then you can then reply or at mention the person back assuming it wasn't you're not just out mentioning yourself like in this example to uh to reply to them and sort of collaborate on the file whilst you're in the file so really useful for um doing it you know specific parts of excel working on word together and even powerpoint slides i guess just wanted to cover it because it does get confusing about whether you're leaving a threaded uh, post as it's now called uh, in the as a conversation or leaving a comment I guess you have to work out which way is better for you I guess if you are wanting to let the whole team know about something about that document or um, something around the context of that document then it's worth posting it as a conversation or a post if you want to actually work on updating and creating that file probably comments is better but just know that some of your users or colleagues might get confused about why am I getting some emails and why some things are in Teams. Um, that's why. Um, hopefully, Microsoft will work to bring all of that into one uh, ecosystem. And if you're using Teams, it would be really good if the app mentions in the file just went back into Teams, in my opinion. But who am I to, uh, <laughs> to suggest such a thing? So hopefully that helps for now. Um, what do you think of comments and conversations? Is it confusing? Um, how are you using them? Let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, remember to click like button and hit subscribe and the bell icon if you haven't already because we've got new video on Teams coming out every single Tuesday. And then if you want all of the training documentation that we've done and trained 
over 200 people at this point in time with, then make sure you click the download link in the comments and get our free PowerPoint document of all of the context about why you want to move on to Teams and all of the basics you need to know and train out to people as well as some advanced tips all written down for you in one place. Click the download button below. Thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.